over 200 yards receiving. It's the Jets and the Browns, and it's all up next on EA Sports. First opened in 1999, there's a good look at First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the New York Jets and the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And last week's win was indicative of how good this team can be. It was a complete performance. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they too were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. here each off to one and oh starts as this one is underway on EA Sports this taken in at the goal line and a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14 the Browns on their way out now for the first time and we'll also get a look at the player brought in from Houston to run this offense and that's Deshaun Watson and he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes and make no mistake about it. He was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And yeah, that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because, remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And yeah, the next-gen stat's going to illustrate just how quickly a quarterback has to process everything as he was on the ground in under three seconds, 2.9 to be precise. So the Jets now in great position here to start things out and they will be let out by their rookie quarterback I think the hope was to let him sit and learn for a bit but he was thrown right into the fire in week one now we'll see what kind of lessons he's learned as he prepares for his second start in the NFL They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven forthcoming. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Now an option play on second down. The 20. Five. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee that all the points they scored in opening weekend are going to hold up and be the average all year long, they're certainly starting to set that type of a pace. And what you do with that is you put in the heads of all of your opponents. We've got to really be ready on defense because these guys know how to put the ball in the end zone. Do you think they can keep piling on the points like this? I think they can if they're prepared to adjust and adapt because they won't see the same defense as week in and week out.
The try here for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You move the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive. They helped themselves out. To throw again on second down. Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times they'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and they'll go deep. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Here's Watson. That's going to be caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Watson now to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Amari Cooper, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by York is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Anthony Walker up behind the line and finishing that playoff. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, this defense for the Browns, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Here's the Jets punter now. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Cleveland offense making their way out. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm not able to physical reaction to watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit words too, because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some.
some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Another try after the first down sack. Watson, this is the tight end, the Joku. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And the Jets, D, they call on a couple extra defensive backs on third. Now it's Watson. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Jets are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well, protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And the Jets set to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Second and nine. Wait. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. That's a pretty darn good start to this season, huh? A sack in the opener, and a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. For a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at the 34. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Seven, seven, our score after one. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Back to throw, Watson escaping the pressure right. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. They'll try the air now with Watson. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Watson. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. The offense on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 20-yard line. 23 yards on the play. From the red zone now, Watson. 
He finds his man complete. It's Grant. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Two minutes gone by second quarter. Again, it's Watson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal coming up as he's out of bounds at the two. David Njoku got a huge vote of confidence from the Cleveland Browns when they named him their franchise player this past offseason. That has a lot of people expecting a long-awaited big-time breakout from the six-year tight end. And he comes through with a first down catch on that previous play. Chubb, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Tackling's obviously critical down near the goal line. That was great work there to make the hit behind the line and make sure he doesn't get any further. Did a really nice job. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Under pressure, they got him again. So a big sack for a loss of four. It brings up fourth and goal. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because, remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And if you're wondering how quick a quarterback's decision-making needs to be, a next-gen stat says that play took all of 2.8 seconds from beginning to end. Takes it at the 7. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. A week two underway around the NFL. And a reminder that later tonight it'll be Chicago and Green Bay in the Packers home opener. The 101st season of that great rivalry. They had the 100th anniversary last year. And then tomorrow night, a treat. A Monday night doubleheader. Tennessee and Buffalo, 7.15 Eastern. And then Minnesota and Philly kicking off a little over an hour later. He's going to keep this again. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 37-yard line. To throw, White. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. A nice throw right there. And Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. This guy's getting the victory last week. And he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command, not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense as well. And you and I both know that's often uncommon for a rookie quarterback. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Jets are once again back in front. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Now the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. 
And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Watson. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. York able to send this one through and the lead is down to one now at 14-13 so the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter yeah nice snap nice hole they just want to keep this game close so give them credit for finishing that one off with three this will be fielded inside the five So here are the Jets now to take over. They got the victory last week. That was against the Baltimore Ravens, and they have the lead here as well. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now a throw from outside the pocket, complete out left. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going Ready. out. 22 yards there, a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ready. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. Now White, middle of the field to Jefferson. And he'll be marked out at about the 26-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, it's White. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Now White. Caught on the slant. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll try to run this one in. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to eight. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Browns now going to take over late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, and that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining at half number one. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. 
Sauce Gardner picks it off. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Jack touchdown. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Point after here coming up. And the lead is up to 15 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Browns now going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. The final shot before the break. Watson dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman. Sorry, Coach, put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Well, this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. White looks to throw. And that will be incomplete. I certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to joku and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 10. <laughs> throwing again on second down Watson, and that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one. But this is first and ten right now. Out of the gun, Watson. Here's Chubb, back-to-back -back catches for him. 
It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. Watson looks to throw again. Throwing middle, and it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and three. Watson now to throw. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. A beautiful fake. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. Third down here. Now you could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Ready, ready. From the shotgun, here's White. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Three, three. Head the street. Head the street. Ready. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. From the two now, second and goal. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never... And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Jets take a three-touchdown lead. Now the try here for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. Now a hit and a loose football, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kick's away following that fumble return. Fielded just outside the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, 
This one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Throwing on third down, Watson, and he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Fielded at the 43. Uses this stiff arm. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. White. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now the Jets will call on the field goal unit here. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time multiple guys get to it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And here he's got Grant. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They go up the middle with Chubb, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Three quarters in the books. And we're back now here in Cleveland. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. From the 31, Watson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. From the gun on third, Watson. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Browns offense back onto the field. 
And they have done themselves absolutely no favors to earn a win today in this one, Charles. The turnover woes continue. On that last drive, they had that fumble that led to a touchdown. And Brandon, I would say they have a mission on this drive, and the bottom line is protect the football, just put together something that they can let the last drive go. Yeah, it was a bad play. They gave up points. But that doesn't mean it has to go that way the rest of this ball game. Do what you do best on offense and try and put the ball in the end zone yourself. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Again, it's Watson. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Second and 11. Here's Watson. He finds his man complete. It's Grant. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 19. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. On second and nine, Watson. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Jets are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Ready, set. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The play fake, now White. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And this offense on third down today, they've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now. He's been terrific so far. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. To throw is Watson. And his throw is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. We'll call that a 41-yard punt. The net a little greater, though, following a loss on the return. And the Jets will take over. They'll start on the ground here on first down. 86 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And they're going to speed things up here. 
And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll have a Jets first down as he'll take this forward to the 27. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Off play action, here's White. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wrap. Kevin Stefanski consulted with his guys above, and they've told him, throw that He's challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully cool. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Out of the gun, it's White. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 36 yards on the play. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now White. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Following the penalty, they'll go back to the run game. Call it a gain of nine there, and it puts him in better shape here for second and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. to throw white and tight coverage there it's knocked away incomplete up big here in the fourth quarter up really big that passing incompletion i don't think they needed the completion but charles this is an offense right now that they're just having fun they're clicking on all cylinders yeah you're right they didn't need a completion they certainly don't need it and they are going to score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, <laughs> he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. Now for the point after. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now a first down throw, Watson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
11 yards there, just like last play. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10, eluding the pressure right. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Watson on first down. Now quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 25-yard line. Watson's throw taken in by Grant. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Now Watson. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down the ground. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Jets, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals.